and has been indicted for rape and kidnapping for her role in a sexual assault. I'm Ellie Merritt. And I'm Dwayne Pullman. Investigators say she was live streaming the assault on Periscope. Marina Lonina and Raymond Gates both in court today. NBC4's Renee LaSalle joins us live with more. And Renee, these are simply horrific charges. Yeah, Dwayne, this is a pretty tough case. We've got a long list of charges for both co-defendants. Now, they appeared here at the Franklin County Courthouse today, those charges, including kidnapping, rape, and sexual battery. But the victim in this case is only 17. That's why Marina Lonina faces additional felony charges for videotaping the alleged attack of her minor friend. With her hair hanging down and in jail attire, high school student Marina Lonina appeared before our cameras for the first time. The 18-year-old is a co-defendant, along with 29-year-old Raymond Gates, in the alleged rape of a 17-year-old girl. Prosecutors say Lonina live-streamed the alleged attack via Periscope. At first, uh, she thought she was uh, live-streaming. It would prevent something uh, uh, such as did occur, but that she got caught up in the likes. Defense attorney Sam Shemansky painted Lonina as a victim of her co-defendant, who also appeared in court. We've watched it at various times. She's trying to get her friend out of there. Uh, the friend is intoxicated beyond belief. Um, it's clearly uh, a very, very serious situation. Shemansky says Lonina and the victim were friends who met Gates by chance, that he approached them and plied them with alcohol. This child is not a rapist. Uh, this was a horrible situation in which she found herself. The rapist was in court. And it's not my client. But prosecutor Ron O'Brien says Lonina did little to help. I have never seen a case such as this where you would actually live, live stream a sexual assault. Now, Gates's bond was set at $300,000. Lonina's bond set at $125,000. Shemansky expected her bond to be posted almost immediately. If you would like to see more of our coverage on this story, just head to our website, NBC4i.com. For now, reporting live from downtown, Renee LaSalle, NBC4.